Hi, I'm Allie. I'm Steven. And, and we're, we're in, in love, love with, with Parkinson's. Parkinson's. So you ambushed me. Yeah, I kind of did. I just dropped a challenge on Allison a little bit ago. I told her that starting at 10.22 this morning, I was going to fast for 24 hours, no coffee, no food, just water. And we'll see how it goes. And she can never turn down a challenge. She's too competitive. So we'll see how it works. Sorry for your shaky camera. I can't help it. So here I am. I have struggled for the last seven years to be at weight. I have not been above. Uh, and, you know, struggled with like being severely yeah. underweight. And you're wanting me to fast? Well, here's the thing. There's a lot of research showing that fasting can be very beneficial to the body, especially the more popularized intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting, which I do daily. I usually go about 16 hours a day without eating. That's why I'm able to keep such a beautiful girly, girly figure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, yeah I, I found it an easy way to diet without you know, cutting out groups of food. I just go from basically, and this is real rough, but roughly eight o'clock at night to noon the next day. Sometimes it's nine o'clock to one, sometimes it's 10 to two, but usually my last meal is around eight to nine o'clock, and then I don't eat again until the next day about lunch. And that Which, works for me. Well, and, and most people can do that. It's yeah. basically just skipping breakfast. 16 hours, yeah. Yeah. So. So. We have Here are some of my concerns mm -hmm. going into this. Um, I, I lose weight easily because of extra movements. Mm. Uh, Is there something wrong with you? You know, you have some I kind have, of brain. I have a brain disorder. Oh my gosh! I, I, I'm done. I can't deal with a girl with a brain. Sit back disorder, down. With a brain disorder. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. So I just pulled up in the driveway, it's about 5.30, so it's been close to eight hours since either one of us have had anything to eat. I'm feeling a little bit hungry, but I'm fine. I mean, I can drink water and it'll go away. But what I'm really concerned about is poor Miss Allison. So I'm kind of curious how she's gonna react when I go in and ask her how she's doing. Um, I've got a feeling if I had to guess, she's gonna say, I'm starving to death, I'm hungry, I'm tired, or some kind of hangry message like that. What this guy doesn't realize is that I'm not usually hungry. I usually eat because I should. Um, you know, I've struggled with weight and keeping weight on. There have been times where I've been pretty emaciated. And so, mm. you know, I can go for long periods of time, especially if I'm busy with work, which I was yesterday. Yeah. I'm walking in. I am feeling deprived. I'm sad. I want um, a, a, a glass of wine because <laughs> I've had a rough afternoon. I dropped a bottle of fingernail polish. Oh, that's great. And it broke on our floors. Where? And let's look at that. That is the area that was covered in pink fingernail polish. And well, it looks like you did a good job cleaning it up. Yes. And if you want that hack, message us and I will give it to you. No. Okay. I may not give it to you. Dr. Michael Okun. Oh, he's a Parkinson's guy, right? Yes. He is a famous neurologist. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's Michael Logan here with your Parkinson's tip of the day. And it's why you should, as a goal, try to stay above your ideal body weight. And let me convince you, we know that weight loss and Parkinson's disease is associated with a decreased quality of life. We see that folks can have fatigue, they can have malnutrition, so the list just goes on and on. And what we want to do is we want to avoid people trying to get their weights down on purpose below their ideal body weight. And sometimes less isn't more, sometimes more is more. So that's your Parkinson tip of the day and why it should be a goal that you should keep your ideal body weight just a bit above, okay? Have a great day. In your face. So did Dr. Okun get through to you? Did he have any bearing on the next few hours? Well, yeah, it did put some doubt in my mind for you, but I've got plenty of body fat. So, I mean, the mainly the, the big benefits from uh, fasting from what I've read is that it increases autophagy, basically cell recycling in the body and potentially in the brain. Um, it increases brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, um, which is supposed to be really good for hopefully saving or reproducing or cleaning up and healing cells in the brain, I think. I'm, I'm not a biologist <laughs> by any means. Mm. Amazing. Um, nice nice air. air. So good. Mm. 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 Drink the water over the plate, Stephen. Mm. I got a big boy pizza. I'm gonna try it with the Parmesan that you can't have. Mm. What you don't know is before you got home, those kids were trying to feed me when I told them that we were doing a fast. <laughs> they had popped popcorn and were rubbing butter popcorn on my lips, oh my trying gosh. to force it down my mouth. So I was, I was being loyal and trying really hard oh. to abstain and I was doing a pretty good job. Very good. I'm and then we smelled that pizza. Mm. That Girl. gourmet. <laughs> what is that brand? What is that brand? I think it came from Sam's Walmart. Sam's Choice. Uh, <laughs> Great value. Equate brand pizza. I don't know. Great value. Yeah. We're not sponsored. <laughs> We're also not rich. <laughs> That's funny. So then we decided to go for a walk. Yeah, I wanted to get out of the house. I was actually struggling with being in the home that I normally devour food in and love to eat. And so I'm standing here with nothing to do. I mean, I've got projects and stuff I need to be doing, but you know, I got apathy. I have Parkinson's disease. <laughs> it produces apathy. It's not that I'm a loser. I just have apathy. Uh, anyways. So we go for a walk to get out of the house, and Allie is just, uh, just not herself. She, I am not. I'm yeah, not she complaining. Is. I am not well, making any noises. Yeah, she's I'm not just speaking. walking. Yeah, she's not speaking. That's weird. <laughs> That's really weird. So she's not speaking, so I know something's up. Um, Usually when I'm quiet, I'm either sleeping or I'm really, really mad. <laughs> she was mad. I wasn't, though. I just, I think I was like a little sluggish. I was a little tired. Yeah, so we come back in, uh, to the house and that's when I had an epiphany. Just went for a walk. Just went for a walk in the dark and I said, let's call this uh, In Love With Fasting Fail Edition. And why is that? Because I want my old alley back. I'm not giving up. Like, I mean, I feel fine. Well, you're acting a little puny and tired and not talking, and I don't think it's worth it. I know I can go. I mean, I know I can make it more than 24 hours. I'm fine, but I don't want you being all sad. <laughs> you're my baby. So you threw me under the bus, did you? Well, I had to have a reason. <laughs> And who was the first to take in some caloric Let's not worry about that. sustenance? Let's not worry about that. <laughs> I just work faster than you. I went to get my bowl of cereal. And he had downed that cereal before I had heated up well, our leftover Philly cheesesteak from the night before. And that was good. 
we split that. I had leftovers, and um, so that was our fail, our fasting fail. Yeah, it is but what it is. You know. We still have Parkinson's. <laughs> I hadn't gone away. <laughs> no. And Dr. Okun, sorry, doctor. He's a good doctor. Yeah, he's a good guy. I just he won. He beat me. <laughs> good, good for you, Doc. So the moral of the story is, A, when somebody, the love of your life, comes up with a challenge, just go with it and prove them wrong. <laughs> She's so competitive. I'm, I'll get her one day. <laughs> Until next time. Facial expressions. Move your eyebrows. Smile. Make your facial move, facial muscles move. Big and loud. Big and loud. Okay. So we went off on a tangent. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's bring it back home. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So, um, anyway, there's somebody that just got offended. They're like, I love great value pizza. It's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, Don't blamed know. it on me. You're not saying. <laughs> no, I'm just waiting for you to three, three two, one. I don't know. Two. What you're <laughs> Such a diva. Three, two, <laughs> one.